I'm Joshua Peters from LickMyKicks.com. What do you geek for? Nice. What's up? This is Picasso, aka Logan. You can check us out at geekmodeonline.com. We're here with the one and only Joshua Peters from LickMyKicks.com. What's going on, man? How you doing? I'm really good. All right. Now he's uh, you're based in Brooklyn. That's right. Brooklyn, New York, over here. We're pretty much like across the street from Prospect Park. Um, you know, this is a beautiful, it's a beautiful area over here. A lot of uh, artistic people, I'm assuming. Yeah, there's a lot of creative types on it. Um, basically, you know, we here at Geek Mode want to know, basically, what do you geek for? I geek for um, one-of-a-kind sneakers. I geek for um, paintings and art openings and hanging around with uh, other creative people. Right. Now, um, what did you geek for as a kid? Like growing up, what was your thing that you were just crazy for? What did you geek for as a kid? As a kid, I geeked for anything with Bulls logos on it. The thing from the Fantastic Four. Mm. Uh, I always loved sneakers but couldn't afford them. Right. And uh, just really was into like comic books and that kind of thing. Okay, so did that, did that pretty much set the, the ground level? Like was that the ground level for, for you to start doing the stuff that you're doing now as far as the sneakers? Absolutely. I um, Both the paintings I do on canvas and the uh, paintings I do on the sneakers are informed by that sort of a comic book aesthetic um, and really like from a graffiti aesthetic as much as anything else. Do you have a particular piece that you're most proud of, like your first piece? Yeah, my, uh, my very first uh, sneaker custom was this Hellboy sneaker that I did. Uh, it, it, Basically, I figured out kind of how to work with the medium mm -hmm. while I was doing it. And, you know, so I'm proud of it for how it came out and for, for kind of what it taught me. But, and, you know, I'm also a really big fan of uh, Mike Knowles' work now and, and right. so on. So, so uh, you know, I really like wearing them too. It's a fringe benefit, I guess. Mm. Now, do most of your sneakers deal with uh, comic book themes or is it just a, a wide spectrum of stuff? It's a real wide spectrum of things. Like, you know, for me, what I like to do when I'm working with a client is do something that really is their stuff right. and bring it to life and bring it to life with the way that I make marks. So it's, it's, you know, it's mine still because I made it, but at the end of the day, it really suits the client. So if, you know, if it's a college championship shoe or it's a wood grain shoe or a superhero shoe, I'm just as engaged with, with that work for a client. However, um, when I'm looking for something to do on spec and to stay sharp and work on my craft, I will do a Batman shoe and an Iron Man shoe, and you know I'm I'm into it. So so I definitely include my things when I'm doing my own work. What were some of your influences as far as uh, getting into this particular field? Um, well, as far as having like a like a mentor or a creative person that made sneakers that influenced me, that wasn't so much the case. I really I'm more influenced by the the artists that I, I sort of respect and revere. Mm -hmm. um, you know I really like Basquiat's work, which we were not taught in art school at all. Um, we saw like two slides over however many years I was in school, and uh, you know, as far as comic artists, I really like Frank Miller's early work. Um, so that really greatly influenced kind of how I think about line and work and how I do stuff. Um, as far as like fine art, fine artists um, from the canon, I mean, really like Lucian Freud. Like I really, I like you to be able to see how I paint. Right. Like I don't try and hide it and make it a photograph. What I'm really trying to do is like just make, make it a very unique thing that you can tell the artist was there. Like, I like to leave my stamp on it. As a kid, you mentioned that, you know, you were into like Star Wars and all yeah. that type of thing. Um, why, why in particular, why, why did you geek for those things in particular? Well, you know, as a kid, I was, I was a real skinny kid. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, those UNICEF commercials, I used to see those kids and be like, you know, <laughs> someone needs to be sending me quarters on Halloween, you know? Right, right. Um, so I was looking at these comic books and looking to these heroes and movies and stuff for mm -hmm. like inspiration about like kind of what kind of man I could be. Right. Because I was a little skinny, scrawny dude. Right. Um, and so that sort of carried forth um, in what my interests were. So I was really into like the thing and the Hulk the most. Um, you know, I was really into Chewbacca and like Han Solo and these guys who um, kind of had really strong, that, yeah, strong, virile, swagger filled dudes. Like mm -hmm. I was really shaped and molded by that stuff in media. You know, my parents worked like crazy. Mm -hmm. So, you know, my best friends were that action figure 
that that uh, cartoon after school and that comic book. Like most kids. Yeah. Now my parents caught me uh, doing some graffiti in books and whatever, and uh, I actually stopped making art for a long time because they told me what you know I couldn't do that. So I was like, forget it, I can do nothing. Yeah. Um, but it, it was something I couldn't kick. Like it's the thing I geek for most. I gotta make stuff. Right. Like that, whether it be you know a cartoon character shoe or a seven foot tall portrait, it doesn't matter. Like I have to make stuff, and I'm happiest when I'm doing like, that. Like this is a crazy portrait back here. I don't know if you can get a good look at it. I mean, um, the way it's made, I mean, you probably couldn't really tell who it is, but this is uh, Danny Simmons. It's the beginning of a painting of, uh, of a friend of mine, Danny Simmons. Yeah. Danny Simmons, who's as we all know is related to Russell Simmons. Co uh, one of the co-founders of Def Jam, so you know, this is this is this is crazy the way this is done. Uh, how long did it take you to make this? Uh, this this painting is only about a third of the way there. It might have taken like three hours. Mm -hmm. um, it's basically um, it's a painting about Hurricane Katrina. Okay. And about um, George Bush and how he handled that. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's a, that's a that's pretty that's a pretty big uh, statement right there. We don't we don't do, we can't do it small. There's no half statement. Nah, not at all. So um, recently we were at uh, myself and Josh. We were at uh, WizardCon Comic Con. And I came to New York and uh, it was there for like I believe two days, and uh, there was a lot of good stuff there. But um, the thing that struck me out the most out of all the comic books and all the you know authentic souvenirs was. Your sneakers. I appreciate that. And which is why we're here doing what we're doing right now, you know, because you have an excellent point of view of art in terms of just like putting art on the sneakers and interpreting what people are thinking. Right. And so um, you're going to be at the next one. Yeah, I'm going to be the Comic Con in Philly. Uh, I have something in the works. I did a, uh, a Draco Malfoy Tom Felton shoe. Um, to, to sort of commemorate the fact that Tom Felton was at this last Comic-Con in New York City. Right. Um, and we're trying to spin that into a uh, sort of a thing where we do that every time. Okay. Uh, so there'll be a, a, a shoe connected with each Comic-Con, one collectible or two collectibles for someone to collect from um, wizardworld.com. So if you came across somebody like, I don't know, like a uh, biblical fox for Kill Bill, because yes. I'm assuming, I think she's going to be there for uh, Kill Bill. Like a lot of the celebrities are gonna be there for each particular movie that they were a part of. So I already was thinking about a, uh, a sneaker sort of in conjunction with Vivica A. Fox being there. And you know, I love Kill Bill and I love the pussy wagon in that, in that movie. That was crazy. <laughs> it's only cool with a girl driving it, but right. whatever. Um, so I was thinking I was gonna do a shoe that commemorated that pulling up of that truck in front of Vivica's Fox, AKA Copperhead. That was a code name in the, uh, right, in the, in the movie. Um, and I wanted to do two things. I wanted to do a yellow body with a pink set of flames on it, possibly like a snake or like a copperhead logo of some type or some snake skin. Mm -hmm. But you know when she goes for that gun in the cereal box? Right, right. So I put a graphic on there of the Cobra and then a graphic on there of that cereal box, the exact cereal box. I haven't researched it yet, but if I can pull off some stills from the cereal box, that cereal box is That was crazy. Out of it. That would be real crazy. On a sneaker too? That yeah, on a sneaker. Real crazy. So uh, tell the people a little bit about your site, you know, where they can, um, where they can contact you. Absolutely. Um, my website is lickmykicks.com. That is my sneaker flash site. If you want to follow me as far as an artist, you can look for Culture Shot on Facebook or cultureshot.com. If you want to email me with inquiries about sneakers, jp at lickmykicks.com. That's how you get at me. We can uh, negotiate a price, we can have a meeting, and uh, figure out how to do something crazy for you, something that no one else has. Some authentic stuff. That's right. And it'll be one of a kind. Nobody else will have it because nobody else possesses half the stuff that he has here. I mean, you'll see it later on when we show you the, other, the background stuff. But some of the, just the material alone, you have to be a real artist to know what's, you know, what to use on these sneakers to keep them looking fresh all year round. So be on the lookout for this gentleman, Joshua Peters. You're going to see him, and you're going to see more of him on geekmodeonline.com. This is Logan. This is Joshua Peters. Joshua Peters. Joshua Peters. Lickmykicks.com. What do you keep?